Hi everyone, this is Mike Allison from MikeAllisonCoaching.com and I'm here today with John, Johnny Cartiopola. Johnny is a certified business coach and corporate trainer and he's also the operator of a Focal Point coaching franchise in Birmingham, Alabama. So Johnny, it's really great to have you here uh, today and I just would like to uh, ask you to just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you actually do, how you help people. Sure, sure. Well, like you said, my name is Johnny Carsey Apollo. Um, everyone just calls me Johnny C because Carsey Apollo is just way too much of a mouthful. So Johnny C is is fine. Okay. And, um, I am in Birmingham, Alabama. I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, but yeah. I'm in Birmingham, Alabama now. And um, I uh, about a year ago, I decided to bite the bullet and get out of the corporate world and um, open my own business. And I actually opened a franchise. Um, of focal point coaching here in um, Alabama. I'm actually mm -hmm. the only focal point coach in Alabama. So um, what I um, uh, what I offer and what I help people with is, um, from a business standpoint, is uh, working to get what they want out of their business. Okay. So focus on you know a couple different things, whether it's time, team, money, exit strategy, any of those things, um, and we work side by side and hand in hand and and make those things happen. Um, I'm also a, what's called a value added associate with a company called TTISI, um, and they are an assessment company. Okay. And I'm very heavily involved in assessments, and I'm certified to do behaviors, motivators, EQ, acumen, and competencies. Um, Great. You know, quite a bit. And then um, as far as the corporate training goes, we do have a, a wide variety of corporate training from Brian Tracy International. And um, we can do things from leadership, sales, to uh, professional, personal development, and so forth. So it's kind of a big, big bag of things that we can uh, dig into and, and, and hopefully help, help people out. Okay, great. So, like, you, you explained a little bit about you got started with this about a year ago. Now, you, were in, you, you mentioned earlier to me that you were in the corporate world for about 30 years as a, uh, I think, I believe it was a training manager, training director, and, and training director. Engineer, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, primarily, most of my 30 plus years in corporate was in the banking arena. Okay. I started out working in banks. Then I went to a banking software company mm -hmm. where I spent 18 years as, a, um, as their training director. Okay. And, uh, just uh, recently, like I said, a year ago, liberated myself from the corporate world and decided that uh, I really wanted to uh, uh, have a bigger effect on small businesses because I really feel like small businesses are the backbone of our country. And Yeah and take what I do and be able to affect a little bit more than just the people that win that corporate environment. Great. So that, that's why I, I took the leap. Okay, good. So what is your target market then? It's, it's primarily uh, smaller businesses, small business owners and their, their teams. Um, you know, there's a lot of different um, ways that we can help people right now. Um, what I'm doing is I find there's a real need in the market right now for um uh, assistance with turnover. There's so many businesses that are experiencing bad turnover problems. Okay. So my, my market right now is any company, um, uh, and it could be, you know, probably the larger company, the more they'll get out of it, the more they'll see the benefit okay. of it. Uh, so, um, and, and I really am targeting the financial industry right now. That's my, my niche. That's yeah. my, I know their pain points. I know what makes them tick. I know, um, how bad turnover can affect that market. So I'm really okay. trying to target the financial market, banks, credit unions, financial services companies, and um, really to help just get in there and stop that revolving door. Okay, and, good. And, and identify the things that are causing the turnover and, um, and make some changes there, but also attack it at the front line and make sure they're making good hires to begin with. And then they won't have to worry about turnover. Right. Okay, so... This is interesting because primarily, I, I guess from based on what you've said, the main pain point that you're helping your target market with is reducing turnover. So this would involve things like um, increasing employee engagement and so on. So people are really happy and satisfied and feel like they're contributing something uh, in the company and at work. Would that be fair to say? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all about... Really, what it boils down to, and to its, its simplest form, is communication. Okay. Right? Is is really about building the 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 trust between employee and employer, mm -hmm. um, and it really is about teaching the 
leaders of the companies right. to better understand their employees, okay. what the employees bring to the table, uh, what their strong points are, yeah. what things are that maybe they're not so strong in, and make sure that they're gearing them towards the things that they're good at. Okay. Right? And and that not not only that, but also that they're talking to their people mm. the way that people want to be talked to. Right. We don't kind of get away from the golden rule and we go to the platinum rule, right? Instead of treating people the way you want to be treated, we, I go a little step further and say, why don't you treat them the way they want to be treated? Okay. And I can show you using assessments and all kinds of other things, how they want to be treated. And when you make that switch, it is phenomenal, the change that happens in that company. Okay. Um, Good. Uh, so can you, could you tell us, Johnny, maybe some examples of the impact that you've been able to have with some of your clients? Yes. Yeah, uh, I can tell you from personal experience because I've actually been using assessments for many, many years. So the yeah. last company, and I'll tell you from a big company standpoint, a little one real quick, the big company, we had 6,000 employees and we put every single employee, employee through a DISC assessment. Mm -hmm. So we were able to now recognize their behavioral style. Once everyone got that, then we took the managers and trained them on how to manage people based on their per, on their not their personality but their behavioral style and when we started doing that production started going sky high when they realized why employees were doing certain things not to be difficult it's just the way they were right um who really liked doing certain types of functions and you really started gearing it towards that mm -hmm. and giving people the uh the ability to do things that they were best at um I can't even tell you how high production went. It, it changed the landscape of the company. It really did. We even took it so far as so that everyone was wearing a badge mm -hmm. to get in and out of doors and we would put dots that identified their um, behavioral style. So you knew when you walked up to someone exactly the, the style they wore. So you knew exactly how to talk to them. Okay. And um, it really kind of took over. It just blossomed. So from a, a large company, it was like that. From a small company, um, I just helped a, a gentleman who manages a gym, and he has uh, a little bit of a turnover problem. And he was, you know, managing uh, uh, them uh, very, very different than they should have been managed, the way that they uh, uh, really wanted to be managed. Mm -hmm. So when we really put everyone through assessments, we identified their behavioral style, we identified what motivates them. And that's the next big, big step is, when you know what motivates somebody, you can manage them towards what motivates them, the, the level of activity that they produce for you is, it skyrockets. Okay. So it's just, it's just and it's so easy to do, and it's so easy to identify. Um, and I think the biggest issue here is, so many people don't even realize how much money they're throwing out the door. Right. With with turnover, right? Oh, yeah. it's, not a, it's not a number you can put your finger on. You can't see it on a balance sheet. Right. right? There's, no, there's no thing that says losses to turnover. So you really have to put your head down and, and look at it. And when you start adding it up, it, it becomes so high. The number becomes so high that people just ignore it. Right. And they, well, there's nothing I can do about that. It's just the way it is. Everyone has this problem. And it doesn't have to be that way. It, there is right. something to do about it. So yeah. that's really my passion is showing them how easy it is to make that change good yeah this thing about um this i this uh, employee engagement uh issue is a huge issue because actually um engagement levels are really low and i'm currently based in germany and mm -hmm. germany has some of the lowest employee engagement levels in the whole world like in germany based on gallup surveys that i regularly look at um employee engagement in germany is only about only about 15% of employees feel engaged on the job and about 15% are actively disengaged. So it's a huge problem for German managers. Um, okay. And I know in the U S the, the figures are a little bit better, but it can definitely be improved. So that's great that you help people to do that. And also something you mentioned that resonates with me, because I was just talking about this today with some colleagues. So, you know, sometimes we have this idea that we need to change the other person but often what we need to do is understand the other person's uh, communication style their motivators and we need to adjust the way we communicate with that person or the types of um, tasks we give people to to motivate them at work so it's not always about you know trying to change our staff sometimes it just needs to be an adjustment in how we talk to them types of roles or jobs we give them, responsibilities that we give them, and so on, sure. to make them 
you know, and it's uh, very powerful in sales too, right? I, I mm-hmm. teach salespeople that, you know, if you attack every sale the same way, if you communicate with everyone you sell to the same way, you're missing, you could be missing up to 75% of the opportunities that are right. there. Yeah. Because you're turning people off, right? Everyone doesn't communicate like you do. So that's the only thing you put out there is your style with the way you communicate. Yeah. There's 75% of the people who are not going to do business with you. That's huge. Yeah, that's right? huge. Okay, excellent. Now, um, if there was if there was one piece of advice you would give uh, business people, managers, leaders, what would you like to share with them? What one piece of advice do you think would you know, has been beneficial for you that you've, that you've really been able to benefit from or in that you think would benefit others? Yeah, is I really, really think if business owners, um, you know, managers, supervisors, whatever we want to call them, would understand how important that resource is, the people, okay. the people who work for them, right? And really paid the attention that they should to get their people in line and make sure that the people are happy, their business would flourish so much more because okay. those people would then take care of the customers the way that they're supposed to. Yeah. And, and it really, and I think you wrote a, it was your article that I really just fell in love with um, about um, our most important asset, you know, is our people. And, right. and, and it was just so many businesses don't look at it that way. Yeah. And look at it, well, that's what they get paid to do. That's why they're here. And it's like, but if you would just pay a little bit of attention. So that's my advice is pay yeah. attention to your people and they will take care of, your clients and your customers. Yeah. yeah, that article you're referring to was um, your customers are not do not come first, uh, which of course is a little bit of a purposely. I wrote the the the, the title that way to kind of create a little bit of interest in it. But the fact is, and it's it's not, of course, that's not my mm-hmm. idea. But I learned that from a, a general manager in Hong Kong. He manages the JW Marriott Hotel in Hong Kong, and he and. He learned it from Bill Marriott, who's the son of the original Marriott, J.W. Marriott, who, who said to him, if you take care of your people, your people will take care of the customers and the cash register will take care of itself. So exactly. it's, that's it's exactly so what you're helping people do. That's great. Yeah, yeah. it really is. And uh, it's all about, um, you know, not, not relinquishing authority. You're not giving in. You're not, you know, you're really doing what's very, very smart for what's best for the company, what's best for the clients, and what's best for the people that work for you because ultimately they're the ones that are going to, you know, um, support the company. And, and Yes, exactly. So right. and here's the thing is the, 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 the best part about it is it's, it's just not hard. <laughs> it's so, so easy. Right. A little bit of mentality of what we're used to, what we're used to doing, what used, but once you get started, it, it, it just kind of happens. So yeah. it, easy, easy, easy. Great. Johnny, do you have a favorite quote that you would like to share with um, our audience? I do. Oh boy, guess what it has to do with communication. Okay. <laughs> uh, Lee Iacocca actually, uh, you know, uh, he was chairman of um, uh, Ford for a while, and he moved over to Chrysler. Yeah. One of his famous quotes is, uh, "Communication is everything," and and I believe that. I firmly believe it. It okay. is the root of everything. So that's I say it all the time. I I sign my, after I sign my name, I write it. I write some articles for our local newspaper. It's in there. Communication is everything. And if people would just really take the time to um, understand that and really you know learn those processes and start using them, boy, it makes life a whole lot easier. Great. And and obviously that's what you want to help people do business people, whether they're in big companies or smaller companies, you want to help make their life a whole lot easier and, and make their businesses a whole lot easier and, and more successful too. Well, and here's the thing, it's not just for business either, right? So these things, these processes that you learn, these, th- these ways to identify people's you know, behavioral styles and everything, it works for your personal life too. Yeah. Okay, great. So Johnny, um, how John uh, Johnny C? I'm going to call you Johnny C. So Johnny C, how can people who would like to find out more about how you can help them? How can they get in touch with you, and and uh, what do you offer people? Sure. So um, several different ways. Um, first, I'm very accessible by phone, so I love uh, the the personal contact. Um, so anyone feel free to call. My phone number is area code two zero five. Four three six six five zero zero. Now the rest of the information I'm going to give you. I have to spell for you because it involves the word Carciopolo. 
Yeah. Uh, so um, I will have to spell it. I have my email address is the letter J and then C A R C I O two P's O L O at focal point coaching.com. Now that's a mouthful and that never fits anywhere. So, um, so repeat uh, it one more time, Johnny, just here, repeat it again. Um, yeah. That's the email address is J C A R C I O two P's like in Paul O L O at focal point coaching.com. Good. Um, you could visit my website, which is simply Johnny, Carcia Polo, C A R C I O P P O L O at no dot focal point coaching dot com. Okay. Um, feel free to uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. You can okay. just Johnny Carcia Polo um, or I'm on Facebook. Uh, so you can look it up there. So any of those ways are good ways to get in touch with me. Easiest, most efficient is the phone. Yeah. Um, if you leave me a message, I promise I'll call you back. And uh, what I do for everyone who's interested is I offer a free 30-minute um, strategic review of whatever it is that we're looking at. And it okay. gives us an opportunity to see if uh, any of the things that I have would work for you and it makes sense to do business. Great. So one more time, just tell us your phone number, Johnny. Sure. It's area code 205-436-6500. Yeah. Super. Okay, Johnny, thank you so much for taking time uh, for this interview today. Really interesting. And I'm really, really um, excited that you're working on this in this area of especially employee engagement and reducing turnover because that's, there's such a need in that particular uh, area for businesses, big or small. Right, exactly. So yeah. well, thank you for having me. It's been great. I enjoyed talking with you and, uh, and getting to know you. And this, this, was, a, this was a blast. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, yeah, so anybody else who uh, per wants to get in contact with Johnny, please do. He's left his information. If you, um, you know, didn't, didn't get that, just get in contact with me, and I'll ha be happy to put you in contact with Johnny because I'm contacted with him through LinkedIn and uh, also Facebook. We're in a group together, so I'd be happy to give uh, anyone watching that information. So thanks again, Johnny. This is Mike Allison from Mike Allison Coaching. I uh, want to tell everybody there to have a great day, a great week, a great month, and remember to think 80-20.